I remember when I got the phone call from uh, one of my attorney brothers that um, that Vicky had passed, and it, it, it really shook me to the core because um, I didn't know that she was ill. And, um, you know, I, I cried. And, uh, well, first I called Charles to to make, make sure that, that they weren't, you know. And I'm not as eloquent speaking as I am with a paintbrush, so bear with <laughs> But, um, uh, I miss Vicky. I miss I miss her phone call, Lonzo. Hi, Vicky. You know the show's coming up. Yes, Vicky. You got, of course, Vicky. I've been with you from the beginning, and then, of course, I'd show up late. You know, to, 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 and I get uh, on the way. I get the call from Charles, Lonzo. Girl. <laughs> but, uh, but every year, um, Art the Atrium has. Um, Changed the trajectory of so many of our careers uh, by by showing our work and 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 you know putting it up for the public. And I, I thank I thank them I, th I thank them so much for it because you know I was just a kid with a paintbrush from Plainfield and 25 what, 25 years now I think 25 years. 27 27 years wow okay, y'all get old <laughs> and. Um, you know, she she gave gave me a platform, gave me a, a, a venue to show my work. And one thing I've always it's hard to even look at the photographs uh, of Vicky um, because every time I saw her, she met me with a smile, and it was a genuine smile. And I missed that.